Now, just when you thought you had seen it all in the octagon, we are graced with the presence of one Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, taking his act to mixed martial arts. I mean, he's so pretty, John. Now, you always said, I'm so pretty. He looked pretty inside the box screen. He intends to do the same thing inside the octagon tonight. This guy is such a great athlete. He talks what he's going to do, but he also delivers. Olympic gold medalist, boxing heavyweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has done it all. A true icon in combat sports makes his UFC debut tonight. And to the surprise of some, he told us in the fighter meeting he's got an appetite for the wrestling stuff. So we'll see if Ali can mix it up a little bit tonight. Happy to have him here in the UFC. Third man in the octagon Ready. for this one. All right, so here we are, the MMA leader back in London, England. It's amazing to think back to UFC 75 when the UFC first came to the UK. Now you're talking about 25 shows in the United Kingdom, but few markets as rabid about mixed martial arts as London's. And the moment you saw guys like Michael Bisping start to fight in the UFC, he seemed as though he was alone. Now there are many, a number of English fighters with dreams of headlining this arena. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Oh, nice kick. All the hands are up, but the double jab gets through. Nice jab. Back and forth we go. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Big right hook there by Champ. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Nice straight right, Lance. Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by Ali. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Nice jab there by Ali. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Ali. Right on the button. Oh, another punch lands flush. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to the attack. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. And now some separation. Straight punch is good. He's got that jab working, nicely done. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. 
Effective punch there by Ali. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, they're trading good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, beautiful jab there by Ali. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Swing and a miss with that punch by Ali. <laughs> Round two is next. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. He lands another head kick. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington. Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, misses with the jab. Targeting the body with the kick now. Just misses with that one. Oh, look at that leg kick. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. That shot blocked by Ali. Where are your hands? He's going after the head. He's got the single collar tie. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hurting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Oh, a nice little right hook there. Oh, Fight big back. elbow. Fight back. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. How do you get out of harm's way here, I mean, DC? you got to shove that knee, John. Oh, right into mouth. Ali getting work from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. 
He's got to start throwing now. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss it. Eh? And when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's gonna find himself in a dire situation. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. This is a terrible position. Ali's in half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so some high level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. There. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice body shot. He's got that single collar tie. Oh. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Do Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big roundhouse now just misses. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here to try to stop this fight. What a fun fight between two guys that only focus on offense. Oh, nice. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ali. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. All right, doing work with the jab. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Doing a really good job of using that reach advantage. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting at him. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Oh, 
Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy... Oh! Yeah, he hurts him real bad. He still hurts. Oh, nice high kick. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Big power shot there. Yes, to the single collar tie now. Massive elbow from the clinch. Swing and a miss by Ali. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Leg kick lands. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Beautiful combination up top. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, wisely, he continues to strike right on that cut. And the blood, I think, is becoming a real factor now. Yeah, the blood is becoming a factor because now, you start to worry about the blood going into the mouth, the blood going into the eyes. You just got to worry about the entirety of the face being covered from the cut. It, it, it's going to be hard for him to get through this. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, well, that's the end of the round, and we will go right into the corner of the fighter with that brutal cut on his nose. Really, really bad here. You got to think they're going to, at the very least, call the doctor in, and if that cut gets any worse than it is now, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really open up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if... This guy won't do it himself. Somebody's got to help him. Because yeah. you cannot keep taking these types of shots. Fourth round now. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Notice the drive. Look at how he drive the knee right into the midsection. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Oh, he's bleeding like crazy, champ. The stream is steady. At what point do you at least call in the doctor to look at the cut? You got to right now. I mean, right now, someone should be in here looking and how they can save this fighter from himself. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm landing those nice, beautiful punches. Oh, he lands a kick to the leg. Muhammad Ali's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Straight right is there. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. And now the jab gets through.
Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch of the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lane. And again, he goes back to that inside leg kick. Nice punch to the head. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see it anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. Gotta love how it's playing out between these two offensively-minded fighters early. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. One to the top. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, man, you can hear it. Bone on bone. Nice elbow land. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate. Also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Right the side control, yep. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, big punches landing here. We'll see if he can work back to his feet. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Yep, got to be very careful there. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Oh, big punch land. Push kick there to the body. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Oh, that's a huge connection there, DC. He massive, is hurt. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, big left hand there. Outstanding round, round and another five minutes coming up. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. Don't worry about the blood, okay? All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's gonna find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Fifth and final round, fourth cut. Beautiful strike. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, man, that eye looks so swollen now. You've got to wonder whether or not that might be a fractured orbital. in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, a big left hand. Oh! 
Oh, nice jab. Back and forth we go. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, the combinations continue to pile up. He's got him in the clinch once again. Nice body shot. Muhammad Ali gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Body shot. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing. <laughs> the biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive Oh, another one. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sent it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's gonna land and land very damaging. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's gotta go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Watch right, so the damage continues to be doled out, and I think... Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Ali. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. One minute to go in the fight. Mm, that was nice. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Ali. <laughs> Nice kick. These guys are going at it. A swing and a miss by Ali. Nice entry into the fifth round. He needs to fight well. We'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. And there you go. Again, half guard. Now he's going full mount. Ground and pound strike there now. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Single collar tie now. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here, and I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on, and tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-44.
declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight, but whatever it takes is what he said during fight week, and that's exactly what he needed here tonight.